हेलो एंड वेलकम टू फॉलो उल्टो कंटेंट आईडी वीडियो सीरीज सो वी हैव सीन एंटी वायरस इन यू आर एल फिल्टरिंग प्रोफाइल इन लास्ट फ्यू वीडियोस नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल फोकस ऑन वर्नरेबिलिटी प्रोटेक्शन प्रोफाइल सो लेट्स सी व्हाट टास्क वी हैव फॉर दिस वीडियो लेट मी स्क्रोल डाउन टू टास्क नंबर फाइव ओके so it says for this task install one application which is icecast for example on the test machine and then application download link is there and then objective here is to configure vulnerability protection profile in monitor mode and make necessary change on the firewall to allow from dmg to lan perfect so policy should not be an issue in our case and then from kali machine to export icecast application through firewall and verify that in logs okay that's the url we have so let me copy that again my vpn let me connect back to the vpn i have my vpn up now and it should pop up in a second perfect so let me close all these urls and this is the url from where you need to download our application and the moment you click here on this tab this link so application will be downloaded so this application is already installed on this test machine and if you see on the desktop i have this app it, it should be there should be this app yeah. so here we have icefast win 32 and start this application this application listens traffic on port number 8000 so to exploit this application we will launch kali machine so let's pop up this so 192.168.70.221 I'm not sure. Okay, so let's see if this machine is up or not. Let me verify that. So I'll pause the video for a few seconds to make this Kali machine up and running. So we have our Kali up and running. User name. and then password so i'll create a username and password for you guys and we'll mention that in the task so you can use that username and password to log into this machine and then do a test so to exploit that vulnerability uh will pop up metasploit sorry msf console and meanwhile go to follow all to objects uh, vulnerability protection create another profile which is tfm pan and vulnerable give the name as um uh, monitor mode So we will select the action as alert for everything. So who's type any category any everything is any and action set to alert. So let's see do we have signature for icecast application or not? So go to exception. Ah, uh, show all signatures. Search for icecast and we have. this header buffer overflow vulnerability signature perfect so default action for this is reset but we have selected the action as alert so we should see attack is happening we are able to compromise that uh, machine and we will verify the logs how it is happening so we have oh i did cancel so tf i'm let me create it again and then Well, 
monitor mode and rest everything is default and action set to alert okay okay go to policies internet access go to action and select vulnerability profile here push the changes so we have our little friend metasploit popped up so to search any exploit you can use search command so i'm using search icecast so we should get where if there is any exploit available with the metasploit or not let's wait for few second okay so to use this exploit use command and then we are inside this exploit you should do show options so remote port is 8000 which is allowed by our policy and then remote host is the ip address which we need to specify so in our case it is 106 125 and uh, let me verify it is 136.125.25. So once exploit is there, what you want to do after that? So that is something known as payload. So I want to take access of that system. So Windows, for example, uh, Windows, perfect. So shell. Oh, in fact. We will use metropolitan directly and then reverse TCP. So we want machine to create a connection back to us like we have seen in our theory classes once the export has been completed. And now we have a couple of other options enabled which is L host and L port. L host will be the Kali IP address which is 136, 121, 121. And I want to verify that as well. So duplicate session. Mm. Password fconfig 136.121.121 and let's see if I can reach this machine or not. Perfect. So connectivity is also there. 443 code I have selected. So reverse connection from my machine, from that victim machine to Kali machine will be created on this port. So let's do an exploit. So it says some, something has happened and now metropolitan session 1 opened and I can see a connection back. And if you do a if config, if config says I am on actually 136, 125, 125 machine. So if you do a shell, so I am on the command prompt of the windows, net user, these all users are created here. So if you want, you can have a new user created. For example, net user, go, 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 one, two, three, and then slash add. And you can, you can uh, configure this user as an administrator as well. So net local group administrators. Then username and then slash. So if you do an end user, I have this user created now and if RDP is enabled, you can log in with the help of this user. So let me do an exit now. I'm back on Metropreter. So there are bunch of other things which you can do with the help of Metropreter. So if you, if you want to see what all processes are running, that can be done. So if you want to see what is your process ID 3348, so 3348 here is. Uh, icecast2.exe and then if you do sysinfo you will be able to see what exactly is running on that machine but it was just windows xp you can have hash dump all the users and their hashes you can get so there are so many things which can be done with the help of metasploit and metropolitan so let me close this connection go back to the firewall and go to monitor mode and the logs sh should come under threat so the strange part here is, which I have monitored in uh, case of other applications too. 
Palo Alto somehow is not able to identify that was the attack traffic. So there were two things. One was to exploit the vulnerability and the second was payload. So Palo Alto can detect payload which is Metasploit Metropolitan which was triggered after the exploit was completed. And now if you see here, there is no log entry related to IceCast application was being exploited but there is an uh, entry what happened after we exploited IceCast as an application. So there might be some issue with the signature of that IceCast application because if we cannot detect that means we cannot block. But interestingly we can block this metabrader connection back from vector machine to the attacking machine. So in that case vulnerability will trigger, exploit will happen but after that, there will be no reverse connection from victim machine to attacking machine. So let's try that now. So go to objects, TFM pan vulnerable, select monitor mode. And now this time action is set to drop. Okay. Okay. And commit the changes. Now we should see vulnerability has been triggered, but there will be no logs because somehow Palo Alto is not able to identify that as an attack traffic. But we should see there is no connection back and firewall has identified that victim machine is trying to connect back to the attacking machine. So all good. So it is okay. Perfect. Application is still running. Go to Kali machine and then do exploit again. Now this time if you see we can see sending stage. So last time it was there sending stage and after that uh, we got the metabrator connection but this time there is no connection back. So if you go to the Palo Alto firewall under monitor tab we should see a new log entry for metasploit metabrator connection attempt and this time it says action is dropped. Because th this is a very generic payload being generated by Metasploit. So that is the reason all the antivirus, all the security products, technologies has signature for this specific payload and this can be detected. So if you can detect something, that means you can block that as well. So IceCast exploit was not being detected. That is the reason we cannot block that. But this payload information can be detected. So we have successfully blocked this payload information back from victim machine to Kali machine. Uh, so couple of other things we can do here. So for example, uh, go to objects. I'll switch the action back to monitor mode. For example, which is the alert. Okay. Okay. And comment. Meanwhile, we'll go to Google. We will search for some authentication pages. So let's say login in URL dot PHP so here we have couple of uh, login pages so you can have so we have seen that in our labs so I don't want to see that here uh, in this video but we have seen we have tested the moment uh, you will try couple of SQL injection authentication bypass strings you will be able to log into the applications without any authentication that is something you can test in your lab so that's all uh, I have for this video uh, let me see what exactly was the task so again task was to download this application and then verify in the logs so we have downloaded application we were able to exploit the application and we did set the action as block basically so that reverse connection can be blocked by the firewall. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much and I hope you are enjoying this video series from Private System.